Howdy. And it's about time for another ranking, I think. I mean, we did the spouses, then we did the followers, then the, the hairstyles. Okay, okay. How about we get back to a ranking that is actually helpful? Uh, I mean, kind of. If you trust a man who spends countless hours ranking freaking hairstyles. Anyways, welcome to Skyrim Summons Ranked Worst to Best. And by summons, of course, I mean conjuration. It's a spell tree in Skyrim, trust me, I have proof, look. There are a large amount of these, and several people have recommended this, so let's get to it already. As with every official list that I'm sure will be seen as objective fact, I need to lay out a few notes before we actually hop into the list. We are ranking these guys on, of course, their combat ability first and foremost. To do this, I'm going to be pitting each one of them against a standard troll, like a weird ancestral Pokemon. Now the troll itself is a little bit weak to fire, so some of the summons will be more or less effective because of this, so I am taking that into account with each of them. Trolls also slowly regenerate their health, so yeah, that's a thing too. And other than combat ability, I am taking all the summons designs into consideration. The way these dudes look is pretty important, I think, so that's gonna be considered as well. And lastly, these are all conjuration summons. But there are three non-conjuration summons I'm gonna note really fast. Those are the two dragons and call valor. Because, well, they are summoned by shouts and not spells. They are all great for the most part. The dragons are fantastic in large outdoor fights because, well, you can only use them outdoors, but still. And lastly, Call Valor is really good for non-conjuration builds in indoor areas like dungeons and stuff like that. So yeah, that's those three out of the way. Oh yeah. Lastly, no zombies or horses, because one's for riding and the other it has far too many variables to rank consistently. Alrighty then, let's get this started with the worst summon. A large part of me feels really, really bad for putting this pupper as last on the list. The little guy is as iconic as any of these guys come. He is all of our first one. He was our original one, but in the grand scheme, he's just a ghost wolf, which is kinda neat, yeah, he looks cool enough, but also, as much as he tried his little heart out, he couldn't even last one hit. Poor feller. I love you so much, but man, you're so bad in combat. Bone Man. Okay, in terms of design, I say this guy looks pretty decent. A skeletal archer consumed with arcane energy overflowing through the eyes. It's pretty cool. But in terms of combat, no matter how many shots he landed in the troll's eyes, he only lasted a couple hits until he piffled out. So, not too good in the end, sorry old buddy. The Mist Man may take the reward for the dumbest looking summon in the game. No, 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 actually, you know, he does take the reward for the dumbest looking summon in the game. So congrats, man, I knew you could do it. It looks so dumb. It's just a skeletal model where they deleted the legs. It looks so wrong to me with all the weird stuff going on down here too. Yeah. Okay, in combat, they can pick up dead enemies' weapons, but how is that gonna be possible when the rest of it ain't that good? Because other than that, they just use frost spells, which can be useful for depleting stamina, that's for sure, but overall, I would say this one is less than average for sure. Sure, yeah, not that great. All right, time for the Flaming Familiar, an all-around better version of the world's best Ghosto. First, the design is the original, but cooler, with a nice line of fire right down the spine for extra flair. Now, he's a gimmick though. What do I mean by that? Well, he's a friggin' ticker from Gears of War. Runs up, takes a big bite out of that booty, then boom. Just against a troll, the damage is admirable, okay, but in a group of enemies is when this thing becomes way more dangerous. I think this one is okay. Fun for sure, which gives it a lot of points. It's very unique and very fun to use. The Unbound Daedra is a good name because this thing is a loose freaking cannon. It cannot be contained. It will attack anything, including the caster. So I don't like it right off the back. But other than that, it's important to note, its design is awesome. That being the standard 
standard Daedra clattered in Daedric armor. Combat wise, he's really bad. For you, because he's really good. <laughs> a mud crab interrupted a duel of a century, but he murdered both of them no problem. Then my man came at me, so yeah, that sucks. Probably good in a large pack where he can just focus on other enemies, but I can't overlook the fact that after a hard fought victory, you have to put your creation out of its misery or it will try to do the same to you. A lot of points lost because of that. Big cold golem boy. He looks great. A little odd in the face area for me, but the huge hammer and the huge spike are awesome. Not as iconic as some of the other Atronox, but still I think he looks really cool. Now his damage may not be the greatest in the world, but this guy can take more damage than a professional boxer. He even has a large AoE attack that slows enemies, and he's really good at slowing enemies because, well, he's freaking frost. So I say he's better than average, but only by a little. A good meat puppet though, that's for sure. Also with frost thrall, he can be a permanent follower, so that's a good note I guess. Say hello to the only summon in the game that actually has a backstory. Arneil's Shade is where you summon, oh well Arneil, a character from the College of Winterhold. Basically my man was looking into things no man should look into and kinda got teleported to an unknown dimension or state of life, we don't really know, he just kinda not sure, but it definitely makes him really unique, which that is his redeeming factor because in combat he's okay. Not horrible, but not amazing. Just kind of like an Atronach. Atronach? I cannot say that word. If I miss say that word, I'm sorry. Average is a good word to explain his combat ability. Overall, he's pretty okayishly good. The uniqueness really gave him a lot of points because of the backstory for sure. Oh, Ash Guardian, you had to be a unique butterfly, didn't you? Okay, first off, this guy is a force of nature, freaking murdering the troll like he was a cockroach. Its design is also incredible, being a storm Atronach model, but covered in sand. But you may note that it seeks the death of its master. That's because it requires you to have a heartstone on you or it attacks everything including you. The heartstone makes it where it only attacks the enemies. So if you don't have a heartstone, this thing will murder you most likely. So yeah, it is kind of great in combat, but I'm knocking off points because of the danger it provides to players who don't know this mechanic. Okay, the ash spawn looks freaking awesome. Let's get that out of the way right now. Some could say he looks kind of derpy, which I can agree with on some levels. He he does have the same expression as Mega Man when he jumps, but overall super unique design for sure. For combat, he wields a fire sword and combustion spell, so he's just wrecking this troll dude. This one is definitely great overall. Amazing in combat, varied abilities to use, and a really cool look. Wrathman may sound like an edgy 13 year old superhero OC, but in Skyrim at least, he's amazing. The design takes notes from the Mist Man and the Bone Man, but way cooler. Armor and actual flesh. That sounded sounded weird leaving my mouth. Anyways, he is better than average at combat easily. Not the top of the top, but definitely admirable and a good partner to have with by your side for sure. I mean, he killed the troll pretty quickly enough, I would say. He is a great partner overall. Flame Atronach, Atronach, I hate that word. Time for this one, baby. She is arguably the most iconic summon in the game, design-wise at least. Legit one of the coolest designs in all of Skyrim in my opinion. Just look, she looks freaking awesome dude. Combat wise, she is a little bit stronger than usual here because well she's using fire and the troll like I mentioned, but still an incredible attack rate with these fireballs. And the flare of several animations for sure makes this easily one of my favorites. It can also be permanent with the flame thrall ability, so that's awesome. It's iconic for a reason man. This poor guy is running from this fetish creature dude. Now if you threw this summon lower on your list, I would completely understand because honestly the Wrathman is probably way better in combat. But in terms of design, I love the flame Etronach that much. In terms of design, while we're on the subject, the Seeker is also one of my favorites, no doubt. I love horror with a 
passion, and this thing looks straight out of an HP Lovecraft book. I love it so much, dude. The troll took one look at this thing and ran for the freaking hills, but my man sniped him no problem. In combat, it has two abilities. One big slow bomb, and one straight up dart that does a lot of damage. Overall, fantastic for me. An ugly stepchild of the Flame Atronach. Better in combat, but still a great design. So yeah. Dragon Priest looks as awesome as I remember, man. I mean, it is a spectral form when you summon it, which does lower it a little bit because you kind of miss some of the details at certain angles, but still a super unique and awesome design overall. Now, for some reason, this troll wanted some Dragonborn booty because it attacked me, but still, it's a freaking Dragon Priest. It's amazing in combat, no doubt. Mainly Frost spells, definitely an amazing summon for sure. I mean, a Dragon Priest by your side, that sent it itself is awesome dude you are not going to go wrong if you choose the dragon priest say hello to the frost atronach but better <laughs> it's true though he looks super cool like a thunderstorm isolated in one entity so design is fantastic and come on, man. In combat, this guy wrecks shop. The troll looks like a little baby trying to stand up to this thing. And on top of that, he is permanent with the Storm Thrall ability. Freaking fantastic. No doubt in my mind, friends. First off, I don't know why the Dramora Lord is nude in my game. I don't know, man. Maybe I caught him in the middle of a shower or something. I don't know. But ignoring that, his design is the same as the Unbound Dramora. He's also also as cold-blooded as balls, freaking ruining the troll, no problem. Killing it faster than any other thing, bar none. Now do you see why the Unbound Dramora is low? This dude is him, but much, much better. Now it is fire, so the troll is weak to it, but still, this guy is a force of freaking nature no matter what. The best in the game, for me at least. So those were the summons. I'm gonna go lay down because these rankings are exhausting as balls to make. So thanks for watching. And my next Skyrim ranking will probably be the beards, just an FYI. Anyways, thanks guys. See ya.